Okay, I'm going to make a quick video here about uh, updating the firmware on your KK2 board to the uh, newest firmware at this time, which is 1.5. Um, the main reason uh, I liked upgrading uh, one of mine to the 1.5 is because uh, the auto level feature is just awesome, and then there's uh, camera gimbal support that uh, that I used was excellent. So. What you're going to need, obviously, is a uh, KK2 board, uh, which when you get it from Hobby King comes with uh, version 1.2 uh, software on there, which I'll just show you that um, in another clip about uh, seeing your version on there. Um, the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need one of these USB ASP um, devices that you can get from Hobby King. They're about like $5. I uh, highly suggest you when you buy a KK board, whether it's this one or one of the other ones, uh, you get this because this is what programs and updates the firmware um, for the computer. The KK2 has got the LCD, so you don't really need it for changing features and PI settings and things like that. But um, it's great to order one of these. I mean, the things, the KK2 board only costs 20 bucks right now, and this is 5 bucks for, for 25 bucks. Um, that's a pretty good deal. It comes with this cable, right? It comes with this ribbon cable, which this connects to the a uh, USB ASP, and at this end, right here with the six pin, uh, connects onto your um, USB ASP, or connects onto the KK board. So, and this is basically this will prong and connect into those six pins right there, which will go over that when we. Um, program board. So anyways, this is a quick video about updating your firmware on the KK2 board to version 1.5. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is to put our USB ASP device into the computer. The computer will um, try to recognize the device. It says it's not installed. That's okay. We're going to open up our browser. I've already got it to the Hobby King website right here. Um, to find this uh, USB ASP uh, device in there, just do the quick search and type in USB ASP. Go down to the file section and click on the Windows 7 USB ASP driver. I'll come down here. We go. I'm going to go Show in Folder. Okay, over there it is, right there. We're going to open that up. We're going to hit open. Hit extract all. Extract. Okay, so now I've extracted it to Larry Downloads. And there's the three right there. Okay, so we're just going to minimize all these guys right here. Okay, we're going to go open up we're going to go to our devices and printers our device should be here here it is with the USB ASP with the explanation point we're going to right click on that go to properties we're going to go to hardware properties change settings update driver browse my computer we're going to have to browse for um, our device here there it is right there USB and we're going to hit OK next install this driver anywhere ok now it's installing the driver software ok when is that successfully updated your driver software we can close there. Let's just close all these down. And now you can see our explanation mark is gone. And now we have uh, successfully installed the USB ASB. Okay, now we got the USB ASB uh, driver um, loaded into the computer. Now we can go get our um, Flash Tool software. So we're going to go open up Google, type in lazy. Zero flash tool.
Whoops. There it is right there. Okay, we're going to go down the page here under download. And we're going to grab the uh, Windows version of the Cat Flash tool, which is right here. A few seconds to download. Okay, there it is. We're going to extract all files to Larry Downloads KK Multicopter Flash Tool 7.0. Extract. Okay, good. Okay, so we got that. So we're going to open up the Windows command file right here. Run. And there we go. There's our flash tool. And uh, now that we get the flash tool open, we'll go to uh, hooking up our board to our ASP programmer and go from there. Okay, now that we have our KK2 board here, we've got our USB ASB program device hooked up to the computer. The cable's hooked up into the USB ASB. We've got our six pin connector here coming out of the USB ASB. We're going to plug it into these six pins right here. You see, you just orient your pins correctly. And plug that in. Easier said than done. Oh, why is that not going in there too good? There we go. Took a couple of seconds. Okay, so. Okay, now that we have the uh, USB ASP um, connected to our, our KK2 board, we are going to uh, download the new 1.5 version firmware under the KK2 board. So here's our flash tool that we opened up earlier. Um, you, you picked my flash tool and automatically picked my USB ASP board. And now we go down to um, controller and we're going to pick the Hobby King KK2. I must have missed it. Oh, there it is. Hobby Tune KK2 board. Okay. And we're going to go down to all oh, firmware types. And we're going to go down to. 1.5 by Captain Cook right here okay and we're gonna go from there we're gonna hit this little button right here and it starts to write to the KK2 board and the screen's gone dark over there or gone blank while it's writing Still doing its thing. Do, 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 do. Okay, firmware flashing or firmware was successful. Okay, good. So we can stop that. We can see what it looks like over there. As you can see here, it says all the sensors are okay. Back, and you can see the screen's a little different now. But we'll go over uh, the differences in the screen in a second. But one thing I do want to do, I want to unplug this. I'm going to 
I'll plug it back in again so you can see that it's got a different firmware version. Firmware version 1.5. You can see that real quickly. Okay, and that's it. Okay, it's in there.